hello guys this is sister jackie tv if this is your first time of coming across my youtube channel please subscribe and hit the notification button if you are returning subscriber thank you you are welcome this is a story of chinyere chinyere ogudaro and a mother of four who lived in scotland with her four children who returned to Nigeria alone on Thursday, March 31st, and her brother picked her up from the airport and took her home. When her husband, Benjamin, from, from Imo State, returned to their home in Lagos, he set the wife and the brother ablaze. Before the brother died, he, he, he testified that the sister's husband set them ablaze oh this is very painful like they say benjamin has also had a quarrel with the wife over her house property a house she bought he tried to sell the house but was surprised to see that the name or the name his name was not on the document of the wife's property and this angered him and he set Set, he sent death threats to the wife until the arrival of the wife, which he eventually did and set the the wife and, and the brother on fire, set them ablaze. And before the brother died, he said he gave his testimony how the the shinyere, her sister's husband, set them ablaze. Please listen to the auntie. Narrate our own version of the old story, everything she knows about this issue. She came to Lagos and stayed with me and got a job with Universal Trust Bank. She stayed with me for a while, then got this man while she was working. She went there in 2004. When she was pregnant with her third child, this mom beat her mercilessly. She called me. She said she wants to leave. I, I arranged people that helped her to carry her belongings and left this man's house. She got an apartment at my two estate, Jacqueline Estate, my two. They stayed away for some time. And while she was in that mighty, she was able to secure the present land where they are living. She built a house there, a three-bedroom bungalow, the present house where she was killed. When they reconciled truly, I was not aware. They did not, both of them did not come to me until they finished settlement. Then the husband came to me and told me that they have reconciled and everything is in order. And I asked him, are you sure you have genuinely repented? He said, yes. My niece now called me that she's relocating to Glasgow, Scotland, that all of them as a family, that they have a visa for the entire family. And I was grateful to God for that. So they all left to go to Glasgow. I only knew uh, about two days ago that two days to the time this woman will come back, the, the water, their borehole, was disconnected from their home. The death of this girl is weary, especially my nephew. What is his offense? That he went to pick his sister and it was that it's okay i will go the following day i don't think it's enough for for any human being to kill him okay. it was on sunday that they went there the tenant my other nephew went along with them it was then the tenant told them that they had not had water in their house for the past two days the tenant stayed they are like saying that they saw the man removed come and remove the this the tank the pipe on the tank remove the water he got a couple plumber so plumber came and 
disconnect everything. I strongly believe it's a premeditated issue. They did not have water. The water was disconnected from the borehole two days to the time this woman will come back. My late nephew didn't die immediately. So he was able to narrate what actually happened. That the, the so-called brother-in-law poured them fuel while they were sleeping and strike matches and lock the door. He was shouting, what did he do to Ogaben? That he had to pour them fuel, strike matches, and lock the door and burn them alive. When the brother of the woman came out, she, he was shouting, what did I do to this man? That this man wants to use fuel and kill me. My sister is inside there, worried his body is burnt with fire. On me getting there, I saw one man, the man was burnt, like his body was burnt and he was completely naked. So the next thing the man could say was, what did I do to this man? What did I do to this man? That was how we got to know what happened. We don't know the reason why he did it.